think that we're live. There we go. There we go. How how are you today, Alex? How are you? I'm today? great. How are you? My thought. It's a little bit weird because when we're not live, I feel like I have to be professional and I call you Alex. But call me I father. I call you. Papa, Whatever is, <laughs> is comfortable for you. Yeah. How was your day? Working a lot, like always? Yes. Always. Someone writes in the chat, light up a cigar for the talk. Unfortunately, I don't have a cigar with me right now, but if I did, I would. <laughs> Good for you, cigar. Um. Do you have anything particular that you want to talk about on today's or should I kind of just go ahead and bombard you with questions? You decide whatever is interesting for you. Everything is interesting. I have, a lot I have everything in my bar, Coke, Sprite, water, drinks. I have everything. everything. So if you're thirsty, yes, <laughs> shoot me the questions. <laughs> you got it all. You got it all. That's good. Uh, I guess let's let's start off where we finished off last week. Because we had someone that asked a question about trusting people within business and how you can work with people that you don't trust, if that's even possible, right? So let's start off with that. Is that even possible to have people on your team that you don't trust? No, you don't. You you have to finish working with them right away. Um, mm -hmm. The main uh, for me the main uh, the main um, thing is to enjoy the meeting. So if if I don't enjoy the, the the meeting with the person, I don't work with the person. How can you yeah, enjoy? Yeah, how yeah. can you enjoy if you don't trust? So you have to enjoy. Mm -hmm. You have to trust. Then the person has to be smart, uh, and many many things. Then th then you enjoy because life uh, we live to enjoy. There is no purpose yeah. to do anything. How does that happen? Enjoy. How does that happen for you? Like, is it just a gut feeling? Like, oh, I don't trust this guy. Just or does that have that? Does that? I don't. Yeah. I'm not trying to explain too much, even to myself. I mean, mm -hmm. I trust. Uh, I trust my uh, feelings more than I trust my um, uh, my mind. Basically, I use yeah. both. I use my intelligence, knowledge, but also I have. Uh, Got feeling. If I don't enjoy, I don't. I don't. I don't do what I don't. I'm, I don't enjoy. There is no point to, for me. Yeah, because I've seen I've seen times where you were on interview with someone, or at least like you. I'm, you don't take like the first interview call yourself. You already have a team that's doing it, and like you watch for 10, 15 seconds. You're like next, next guy. <laughs> you know, you just like look at the face, and you're like, no, so I'm not someone I want to work with. Like, what goes on in your head? How does that even happen? Because I feel like I have to listen to someone for an hour. Is it with experience? Does it come with experience? At your age, I was a waiter. I was not even uh, thinking about the the business. Yesterday, I was talking to Masha that in uh, in your age, I was a waiter in the restaurant. Not even mm -hmm. that. I was even uh, 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 not even the waiter. It, I was just working, making pizza in pizzeria. So it. It's just experience. You've, you've seen so many people, and if you, uh, okay, I, I'll give you an example. You uh, quite good in uh, basketball. How yeah, many seconds? Quite good. quite good. Yes. How many? <laughs> how many seconds do you need to understand whether this player is good or not? How many seconds of him play, seeing how he handles the ball? How many seconds? Five, ten, one shot, two shots, one jump shot, one one shot. For me, I'm not good at basketball. For me, I would, I even if I watch the whole game, I don't understand shit. So it's all about, uh, <laughs> uh, it's all about uh, just just what you have experience i have experienced so many years yeah. of experience i've seen so many people so in three seconds i see just by looking at the face i already see the faces by face i most likely understand whether this pe person is smart or stupid or uh, quick or slow uh, honest dishonest mm -hmm. face plus uh, Last couple of uh, couple words, couple of words, yes, 
the, for you, uh, uh, you, you judge basketball player. You don't even see him talk, but just by the way he moves and one jump shot. And yeah. you understand the level. And there are so many levels, college level, NBA level, high school level, right? Pre, I mean, um, so many levels. You see, because you have experience. That's 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 why you need to to get experience every day. Yeah. Go uh, go to bed a little bit smarter than you woke up. Then you woke up. You focus on this, not on the cigars. <laughs> I got I wanna I wanna preface by saying in the beginning right away, anyone has any questions? I see that there's seven people here on the live right now. Um ask questions, preferably in English, because I don't read Russian, unfortunately. Uh, but ask your questions in the chat and we will answer all of them. Let's shift the topic a little bit. How do you go about starting a business, like choosing a business model, let's say? Like, right, I'm out there. I want to start something. I want to make money. How do I choose a business model? Whatever you excited, like a girl, business model, like a girl. You look at girl and you just whether wanna spend more time with her or not. Then you, if you wanna spend, you wanna go on a date. Doesn't mean that you're gonna live forever. Mm -hmm. You just enough desire to go for a date you go for the first date then you decide do you want to go to this for the second date third date for this and it might end up that you live with her forever that's exactly with mm -hmm. the business model you just you you hear something you see something you 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 have some desire to dig in to 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 dive to understand yeah and you start, and maybe after the five minutes, you don't want it anymore. Like after the one date, you don't want to. I mean, you had you had something for the, for this girl, but after the five minutes on the date, you just want to leave. That's that's exactly the same with the business model. But yeah. it, but, but you can I, I, you can you can spend one day, second day, third, and you can end up spending ten or twenty or maybe fifty years in one business model. I want to challenge that point for just a second because like what if starting a newspaper business gets me excited and for example newspaper businesses is on the decline right what if the market that you decide and you would open then you would get at least excited that, uh, uh, listen I I only can tell you my I'm not telling what's right what's wrong I'm telling you how I live yeah and uh, everybody different because that's that's why not everybody should listen to me that's for me to do what I feel the most important, even if it's a mistake. Because then I'm mm -hmm. proud. For, for me, the most important not money, to be proud of myself. And I and I only be proud if I listen myself, my intuition, and 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 uh, and do what I want. If I want newspaper mm -hmm. business, I would go to newspaper business. Then I might burn. I might lose money. I will get experience. I will be in pain, but I will be proud of myself. I will respect myself because I did what I wanted. Yeah. I'm for me, my, yeah. my, 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 my soul is much more important for me than my mind. My mind is a helper, not the, uh, my mind my mind is a employee for the soul soul is the boss whatever soul wants i do and i understand that uh, sometimes i uh, i um, uh, i will make mistakes i will feel in in pain but that's what my soul uh, wanted me to do it means that i didn't have enough experience but i i yeah. I, I went to newspaper business i get experience then my soul would want something better yeah, next yeah. time. The same with the relationship. We the have same a with the relationship. Sometimes I want to do, I want to have a relationship with this person. My my soul wants wants, it. and then it ends up very very bad. I mean, we we might have. Uh, 
divorce with the with the with the woman or argument but that that's what my soul wanted at that time mm -hmm. for me for It me the purpose changes. of life for, 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 for the purpose of life for to for the soul to get as much experience that my soul needed Maybe your soul doesn't need this experience. You already uh, uh, were born wise and you already know which girl to choose, which business to choose, where to invest money. But of, what, what if my soul didn't, was born without this experience? I, I need to yeah. make all the, those mistakes. That's, there, there is no other way for me to to get this experience unless I will make all the mistakes that uh, that that other soul would, would not need to make. Yeah. We have a question in the chat actually. So I wanna I wanna address that. Um, someone asks what is your plan for the next five years? Something to start a new business potentially or do you plan on investing into some property, some stocks. Like, what's your plans for the next five years when it comes to finances? My plan either business or investing. My next five years to make billion dollars. To make a billion dollars, how do you think you're going to do that? To build a company which will be like billions of dollars because I I am not building companies by myself. I like partners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want your, like the, your percentage of the company, your shares to be worth a billion dollars? Yes. Mm -hmm. and there's a difference between like making a billion dollars actively and then also making a billion dollars from equity that you have. Can you touch on that point and can you explain that difference to people? Do they understand? If you have a billion dollars equity in equity, it means that you can sell tomorrow your... Uh your shares for billion dollars and you you can have it in uh, cash and then cash you can put it in real estate whatever you want or buy cars for billion dollars whatever you want or or island so mm -hmm. I, when i said uh, one billion dollars in shares of company means that it's liquid and then i can sell it for billion dollars if it's on the paper billion dollar and uh, uh I cannot sell it. It doesn't mean that it's a, uh, for me, it's a billion dollar. Mm -hmm. Billion dollars in your current business or in a new business? In the different businesses that I'm building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you plan on doing with the billion dollars? What would you want to do with it? Buy an island, buy a yacht, buy a plane, or does it matter to you? No, no not to buy anything. In particular, I <clears throat> when I were your age, I was I had uh, I wanted cars and uh, plans, planes and whatever. Now I don't have those desires. I just want to work. So, what would you do with the money? Secret. I have I have uh, some uh, ideas, but uh, I don't want to talk about it. Uh huh. Like Warren Buffett, for instance, he said that he's going to donate all of his money when he passes away. Like he hasn't signed away because it's obviously going to come to a point. Not, none of us live forever. Right. What, what are your plans on, on, on that? I have some ideas, but I, I, I'm not spending uh, much time thinking about that. I'm thinking I'm uh, spending time now, how uh, all my time to do it. Why should I think how to spend the billion if I didn't make the billion yet? There is no point. Mm -hmm. I have some ideas. We have another question. But, but it's theoretical. I mean, uh, uh, unless, <clears throat> if you have million dollars, then you should think w w what to do with a million dollars. Not until you have million dollars. There is, <laughs> if you don't have million dollars, you have to think how to make million dollars, not how you're going to spend. <laughs> to make them for me, is, yeah, for me, making yeah, money is not, uh, my motivation is not to buy things. Mm -hmm. For me, my so motivation, motivation? My, my motivation in, in business was always to, to, to be free, freedom. 
I love freedom to do what I want. What, the, what, what I does want freedom, I want what does freedom mean to you? Freedom is uh, do what I want, when I want, with whom I want. I hate discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline for me is uh, is uh, bad for the person. When you force it, you. What do you think? What? What do you think so? Why? Why do you think discipline is bad for the person? Because um, <clears throat> you only need discipline when you don't have love. I don't need. I, you know how I work seven days a week for thirty years without uh, even one day off. I don't have day offs. Mm -hmm. Not because of the discipline, because I love what I do. So if you if you love, you don't need uh, discipline. If you excited about the girl, you don't need vi Viagra. Uh, discipline is Viagra. If you don't love the girl, and you're not excited about her, then you 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 take discipline Viagra. But I'm against against uh, uh, not natural things. You have to just whatever you love, you don't need discipline. I don't know. I see you work out almost every day because of the discipline, or you just love it. No, I don't. I don't really. I don't really discipline myself. So why do you I need go discipline? whenever I want to? I don't go. understand. Why do you need discipline? I don't know. Many people believe that discipline is like you have to do the many same thing. Many people believe in many different bullshit. Uh, many things. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> People believe everybody. I think, uh, I think what a lot everybody, of... what everybody have has have in common, they all believe in something. Yeah, but most of the things that I think people a lot of believe people... is a total bullshit. Yeah, I think a lot of people would disagree with us right now because I'm on your page. I think that if you don't have love for the game, then you have to give discipline yourself. Whether they agree or disagree, it doesn't make any difference for me. I mean, the purpose is of our conversation well, is uh, is uh, <laughs> is you want to know my opinion, true opinion. I'm just being totally honest. Yeah, yeah. and uh, for me, <laughs> that, uh, no, really that's, why, that's that's why yeah, I, I feel need, like you're... that's why I need money, not to care what people agree or disagree with me. Freedom, freedom is is uh, you express your opinion knowingly that if you're not if you're not free you're just trying to please everybody and tell tell things that would not everybody would agree and you would not choose the topics yeah hot topics like politics sex discipline discipline is a hot topic <laughs> i mean can you imagine somebody's listening right now less 10 years every day disciplining himself and now of course he would be pissed pissed off it was like waste of life but i don't care because i'm free yeah let's talk about the freedom right now because i feel like with a lot of stuff that's going on in the world people are losing freedom every single day and governments are trying to and 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 the companies are trying to get more and more control over people. That's just my personal opinion. I also don't care if people agree with me or not on that as well. Like with COVID and and all of this stuff, to get control of people and to have them lose their freedom, right? How do you break out of that? Like, how do you escape that rat race? First you need of money? all, first of all, you're now manipulating me because you didn't ask me whether I agree with you. I already asking me the yeah, question: yeah. How would you? Do you agree, do you agree do you agree no. with me with that? No, no. Of course not. So what do you think? What what do you think on this point? About what? Ask me a specific question. About. Do you think that the government and that companies depends on to which take country? I mean, we have totalitarian governments. We have dictatorship like North Korea and a few other countries. Yes, in those countries, yes. We have uh, countries like United States and Western Europe, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why, don't, why don't you think so? I don't know why I think so. I just observe. And just, uh, uh, with, uh, with all my 54 think. years of uh, observing and living in uh, 
dictatorship first 20 years of my life in Soviet Union. And then I, uh, when I was your, exactly your age, I, I, I came to United States. Just barely. I, I, I spoke but look, 10 times worse than you speak Russian. Maybe 20 times. Yeah. Exactly your age. Like you speak Georgian right now or whatever. Ukrainian. Which language? That's how I spoke English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're exactly your age. 20 years old. I came to United States. So I know the difference. Yeah. And that's my opinion. So like, here's a situation right now that's going on in America. Right? House um, salaries are not increasing as rapidly as expenses are increasing and people are, are even more so relying on debt and living paycheck to paycheck. It was right? always like, it is was that, always, is that was, not, is that not it taking was, away? It was always like that for, for certain, for certain people. Some people get rich or some hundred percent for certain people. people it definitely was it. This topic is doesn't, how do you, how do you, Okay, how do you how do you uh, how do you become in a capital society like America? How do you win? How do you get to the top? Like in every other country, if you're into uh, winning, what if winning sport? One thing you need to do in music, another thing in business, you have to start business. If you if you manager, you have to become a good manager. That's how you win. This is a game. You decide which game you play in, and you decide: Are you want to become? Do you want to become a champion, world champion, or top top ten, or top hundred, or top top five hundred? Like NBA players, they're top five hundred. But the, in NBA, you have yeah. superstars, and you have the the worst NBA players. But they still NBA players, at top five hundred. They all make millions. Yeah. So you have to decide. Uh, for example, I. I want to be top 10, top 100 maybe in the world in business. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. How to win, to to become smart enough and good enough in business to build a multi-billion dollar company, $100 billion company. Mm -hmm. And talking about that freedom, because like, you you said you want to do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do with whoever you want to do but not many people can have that freedom how do you get that freedom money money, money is the most the important freedom. money so i guess money, that's money i guess that's you, what i first of all you have to you can live yeah, I, in the safe place in the safe mm -hmm. place uh, then second you can live in the place where you your eyes enjoy what I turn my head right now. I see ocean in Miami, so that's important. My, I want to enjoy what I see, mm -hmm. and I wanna, I wanna feel safe. Then it's all money. I wanna any any moment. I wanna travel the world and and go. You know, you and me, we are the same. We can like. Just any day, just buy tickets and go anywhere in the world. Because the world is so interesting and beautiful in many in many cities and countries. I want that. Yeah. Also, I want to communicate with people that I enjoy. And money gives me freedom because... If, if I have enough money, I don't have to. I don't have to. I only do things that I want to. Yeah. When you don't I guess have that, that's money, what I... you have to. You have to. You have to. Yeah, exactly. That's what most people, they have to do things. They have to go to work, even though they, they don't want to. I guess that's what I meant when I asked, like, how do you win in a capital society? Like, how do you collect all the money? How do you get to the top 1% income? I guess level level of income level of wealth. You have to first right? understand so like what the game number two. You have to just become better in this game. You have to understand which game you're playing. So, you're playing entrepreneurial game, management game. You technician, maybe you just programmer. You don't want to manage people. You don't want to start business. 
So you play the game of programmers. You compete with another uh, IT specialists, and uh, you can become also a millionaire and work in Google and Facebook, become top. Yeah. So what are the different games to play? Like I know, I know this, but for some people out there that are watching, maybe they don't. Entrepreneurial game. Yeah. management some people are not entrepreneur entrepreneurs or and not men and not employee and not uh, technicians some people are yeah. in the middle they're managers they love managing people but they don't want to start business and invest money mm -hmm. they're professional managers so if you feel that okay. that's your that's your uh, um that's what you love to do. You just then spend the rest of your life to become one of the best in the world, to become like Tim Cook, who runs the uh, Apple, never opened the business in his life. You are more in have, you have more entrepreneurial experience than Tim Cook, who runs the. <laughs> That's Apple. crazy, and he multi-millionaire. Crazy, so you could still win the He's game. A billionaire. He's a billionaire. A billionaire, billionaire, billionaire. Wow. Yeah, wow. So you could still win the game even if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're a manager or a technician. But for you, example, the game is like different. A, Ilan, the game is different, like baseball and basketball, two different games. Yeah. Entrepreneurial game and management game and technician, it's a different games. Yeah, yeah. So like. Basketball you, player is, is a specialist technician, and they're is, yeah. multi and they're, they're multi millionaires. Yeah, multi millionaires. LeBron is even a billionaire. Yes, and he's, and a, and he's a technician. Absolutely. And Michael Jordan, but I mean, they went on to do entrepreneurial things. Would you say but like later, later, later? Mm -hmm. Started off as a technician. Yeah, you can um, as actually how, what, actually your age. You can start with, as a technician, then become a manager, then become an entrepreneur. You never know. Uh, mm -hmm. Entrepreneur might uh, might might be born in you later. Yeah, I want to say once again, guys. I know that there's 15 people watching right now, and if anyone has any questions, ask in the chat, please. And then my question, real quick: How do you see business as a game? Like, explain to me, like, how is business even a game? Like how does it compare to basketball, for instance? Basketball is physic more physical game and number two mental. Chess is uh, more yeah. uh, chess and poker, as an example, that you would understand. Mm -hmm. It's uh, more mental, ninety nine point nine mental chess, and physical. Uh, yeah. uh, just a second. Just a second. One second, guys. While you're thinking, Alex, I see someone in the chat at M A C K wrote in Russian. How can they find our apartments in Tbilisi? He's coming out to Tbilisi and he wants to rent the apartments. Uh, just shoot me a text on DM. Shoot me a DM and I'll get you set up. Anything came to the mind, Alex? Papa? Just, just Father? Just Dad? <laughs> My memory is on the phone. Uh, full. I want to record. You asked me to record. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll be without. Uh, what was the question? Oh, game, 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 game. Oh, chess. How is, how is the, business? Chess is the nineteen point ninety nine game. Also game, but mental. Yeah. You physically, you just need two fingers and move the piece on the chessboard. It's just 99.9 and then it's mental almost zero physical yeah. basketball is 95 physical and 5% mental my opinion I mean whatever you might disagree with me I don't care but I want to know your opinion if you disagree uh, yeah. Kirill I'm going to I'm gonna ask your question right so now. Business just, uh, is like is a, a chess. Game. Business like a chess. It's a mental game, like a chess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's why when can I butt in for just a business, second? When, that, that's why when businessmen uh, uh, exercises, I don't understand what has what it has to do with the business. It has nothing to do. It's only has to do with just burning energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Carol, I'm going to ask you a question in just a second. I, I really, really think that this is an interesting topic and I want to stay on it and then we're going to pivot back. So just stick around and I'm going to make sure to ask it. Um, so like here's, I mean, about the basketball thing, I agree with you. Most of it is physical. Of course, you need some some smarts. But I feel like basketball is similar, more similar to business than chess is, even though it's more physical. Chess is more mental, but here's here's, oh, here's yeah, why. because of the team. Yes, yes, yes. Team, no it's structure. Ma- yes, it's a <laughs> mental one man team guy. game. Mental team game. Yes, all mental games. Exactly. Right. I, I never thought about it. All 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 mental team um, games. Poker, chess. They're individual. This is the. Individual, this exactly. is the. This is doesn't the, really yes. resemble. This is the team. Yeah. As far as team, it more resembles, of course, basketball and yeah. hockey and soccer. Yes. Because when you look at the basketball structure, there's, you know, 12 players that are the technician. They're the players, they're the specialists. Absolutely. And they have coach, a head coach. Monary, exactly the same as as uh, basketball, uh, as a team sport, but mental. You play, team plays yeah. mentally. Team mental plays game. Mentally. And, and when you really think about it, it's like business is so similar to most team sports because, like I said, you have the basketball players that are technicians. You have the head coach who's a manager. Then you have, like, the general manager who's, like, M2, manager of the manager, you know? And then you have the owner, the person who actually owns the the team, like Mark Cuban owns the Dallas Mavericks, and that's the entrepreneur. That's the person who started the company or, you know, owns it as of right now. So, like, when you look at it from that point, people don't really see business as a basketball team. And when you look at a basketball team, it's really a business. It really is. They sell tickets, you know, it's a, it's a business, right? Could really, really cool way to look at it. All right, let's return to Kirill's question. Um, boom, 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 boom. Alex, what markets would you get into in the next 10 years? Or at least like, what markets are trending? What's a what's a good market to start a business in? I know that you we talked about earlier, like I already said that doesn't <laughs> matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever your right, but like what, what's it? I cannot hear you, Elon. Uh, you breaking up? What about now? Hello. Now is better. Now it's yeah. better. Yeah. Uh, so any, any, I, w- I would yeah. not chase. I would not chase markets. I would not chase like it's exactly like asking what kind of girl is better to date, which nationality is trending, which fat or skinny, blonde or brown, whatever. If you like the girl, what doesn't matter nationality, where she lives, tall or short. Uh, no matter who is in trend, fat or skinny, you just follow your heart. Whatever you your heart tells you, that you go. You, that that's where you should go. My my advice. That's how I live. We have someone else that asks Alex: Are you investing into something? Shares of companies, uh, real estate, crypto. Only in uh, real estate. Only uh, only building my businesses and real estate. Nothing else. Why real estate? I think that's the best strategy to to make capital in uh, in, uh, in 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 building uh, your company, and then whatever you make to park in the real estate, to put in the real estate, because real estate is safe. It's also business. It's also business, but but you don't have to think about it. And it's uh, and it's and it's safe because in, in the real estate you have uh, 90, 95% net profit. Mm-hmm. Your property mm-hmm. you rent out. Why not? And- and in operational businesses, you have uh, 
maybe 10% net profit, but but you can make much more if it's successful on or, or you can make you can you can make millions out of nothing. In real estate, no, you have to invest and you get your 10-15% return if you're doing everything right. Mm-hmm. But you don't have to do anything. Why not? passive it's passive and there is no risk in in um, in business you can make billions and you can lose a lot but yeah. because because in business there is always 10 10 15 percent 5 to 15 percent net profit something goes wrong and you're in the minus for example in restaurant you have 60 70 people coming every day you feed them at the end of the month, you're in minus because break even is let's say 30k. Are you are you with me? Bad internet. Yeah, I'm here. Do you did I bad internet? It's okay. Now I, I, I I'm see. here. I'm listening. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. I hear so, you, Zemichash, and I you, hear you amazing. You have to, you have a, a thirty thousand expenses, and in order yeah. for you to start making money, you have to have seventy people a day. If it's 65, you're yeah. in minus. You spend 30K and you get got 28K, you in minus. If you have 70 people, 80 people a day per day on average, you have 5% profit. So you always at the huge risk. But if restaurant, if your restaurant becomes successful and you have 100, 120 people a day, then you make great money, great return capital. You can never make this return in the restaurant. Uh, I'm sorry, in the uh, real estate. But on the other hand, in real estate, you have less return, but always in profit, always. Because you have an apartment, you rent it out, yeah. it's in the capital, you don't buy somewhere in the war zone in north korea you buy somewhere in a normal country where uh, a lot of tourists and you rent out and you always in profit profit can be more or less but it's always in the profit because from the rent that you get you you only spend five to ten percent on expenses on management company who would manage this for you that's why you make money in the business and invest in real estate. Interesting. Where so, follow up question from the same guy? Where exactly should I invest into real estate? Which country? How do I get started? And which budgets do I need to start? I created the company, especially for the people who 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 don't have a huge amount of money to buy one apartment because one apartment will cost a full apartment, full business. If you want to buy in real estate, one apartment is a business hundred thousand and more, but I created the company where you can invest with $15 with any amount. You can invest in real estate, any, any amount. Uh, it's called fractional. How does how do so? Uh, yeah, how does it each work? Each apartment belongs to the company, and the company has shares, and you can buy any amount of shares of the company, and company owns the apartment. Very simple. Mm-hmm. And that's why. Why do you think that this is a better route than the traditional route? investing into real estate, investing fractionally into real estate specifically, why is it better than buying a whole entire apartment? Because, first of all, in order to buy an apartment, you you, you, you you need to save maybe a few years, maybe five years. I mean, I'm not talking about the apartment to live. I'm talking about uh, investment property. Investment. You have something somewhere yeah. to live, let's say, and you want to as investment. So in order to save 100K or 200K, that might take a lot of time. So where to keep, where are you going to keep your money meanwhile? In the bank for 0% interest. So at number one, number two, even if you saved already 200K and you want to buy an investment property, you just put all your eggs in one basket. 
even in, in stock it, it's not right you have to buy index fund you have to buy you have to put eggs in many many baskets so with the fractional real estate you can you can put your hundred thousand dollars in hundred different properties in hundred different cities in hundred different countries so you spread your risk And when you try to save $100,000 to buy a first apartment, it's a lot of temptation, meanwhile, while you're saving, 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 meanwhile, to put your money somewhere else. Yeah. In the risky in the risky project, I mean, all the time somebody will come to you and say, invest in this company, invest in uh, Bitcoin, and you might invest and lose. But with the, what we are doing fractional investment in real estate you have 15 dollars bam even every day you invest you invest whatever you change you have you invest 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 and it's already in real estate yeah it's a very very cool concept how exactly does it work specifically like because many people ask like oh like that's cool like i can invest 15 dollars i could buy a chunk of like a piece of a real estate property a fraction of it per se how does it work like from a legality standpoint how can they even get involved i mean everything everything is legal we're already uh, operating for for uh, for a year so but most people invest more than 15 dollars maybe just to try they invest 15 dollars then uh, you have investors invest over ten thousand dollars the biggest investor invested sixty thousand dollars with with our system he could invest less but he invested sixty thousand. some people are investing yeah. every I guess, week yeah i guess i did you didn't really understand my question i mean i understand how it works because i've been around you for the last year ever since you've been building this company but i'm sure like the question is arising for the 14 viewers that we have right now like okay like I kind of understand, but I don't really understand. Like, how can I invest fifteen dollars into a property? How does that even work? But everybody like, understands. If you everybody were explaining it, to, I guess every, everybody understands how to uh, invest fifteen dollars to Apple, right? But you buy you buy yes, shares. Yes, yes. You buy sh Apple yes. is the one company uh, divided by millions of pieces, and you can buy piece. The same is here. Every apartment is the company and you can buy a piece of the company. Company owns apartment and you can buy, you cannot buy the uh, 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 square foot of the apartment, but you can uh, you yeah. can buy piece of the company which owns the apartment. Uh, what's Apple? It's plans. It's, uh, uh, but you don't buy plans you don't buy equipment you don't buy people you buy the piece of the company which employs people owns the plan plans and equipment that's that's how it works the mm -hmm. we have for each apartment we have a company and you buy a piece of in this company in this company you might have one percent hundred thousand dollar apartment you have one percent it means that you invested one thousand dollars and you have one percent of the of the profit of this apartment. Rent minus expenses. Mm -hmm. so you have profit. You have one percent. Uh, second apartment, you you feel more comfortable. You 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 want to buy two two thousand dollars. You invest two thousand dollars, but apartment yeah. costs fifty k. So you you have you you owe four percent of this 4%. apartment. Yes, or two hundred k. You you mm -hmm. for two k you have uh, again one percent. Doesn't matter. It's a proportionally. Yeah, it's a math ma mm -hmm. mm -hmm. simple math. So, very interesting. So like the company, company owns an apartment. One company, one apartment. The company gets broken down into many shares, just like Apple would, or just like any other company would. And then you buy however much percent of this company that owns this property. So if you decide to buy 5% of this company, that means that you own 5% of this property and whatever the property value is, you own 5% of it. And how do you collect rent? We, we are, uh, uh, we, uh, our company, 
uh, we do all the work for investor. That's the whole point. The investor doesn't have mm-hmm. to doesn't have to look for the property legal buy uh, don't have to buy don't have to use uh, lawyers don't have to uh, do construction we do all of this and then we manage the company uh, manage the apartments we, we we collect rent and we distribute the rent uh, uh, we distribute the profit we take small fee for management and then the net profit we distribute among uh, shareholders of this uh, of, of of this uh, uh, company. But we have each apartment different company. Mm-hmm. Very simple. Everything so transparent. Everything yeah. transparent. Everything on the you can see on the site. You you get report every day, every mm-hmm. week, every month. I mean everything. You just see how your money is employed and you get 10% uh, approximately 10% interest in uh, compared to 0% in the in the bank so my dream is to elim- elim- el- elim- eliminate banks that's my dream banks yeah. is useless right now because banks take our money and invest in real estate so why do we need banks if yeah. we can invest in real estate ourselves yourself yeah that's interesting. And they t- so once again, if you own like ten- but bank takes this ten percent, yeah, and, uh, ta- and pays you two, and pays uh, no, not two. I mean, less than one percent. The, the interest is is so low right now. If you keep the money in the bank, yeah, and they uh, they have huge expenses. They don't make this ten percent as a profit. They have offices, employees, very expensive, and they have some profit, but. But we can totally eliminate them. There are middlemen which we don't need. We can we can keep our yeah. mon- money directly in in the in the real estate, and make ten percent uh, interest plus appreciation, approximately five percent uh, a year on average. It, your property will grow in price. So, in reality, it's fifteen percent. Yeah, but yeah. Now so, imagine, imagine this: you buy the, uh, to, uh, you invest in apartment today, and you get ten percent right now. Ten years yeah. from now, yeah. and you keep it. You get ten percent, and you keep it. Ten years from now, this property, the rent will increase at least twice, so you will get twenty percent on your money already mm-hmm. that you invested 10 years ago 20 percent plus the property will double in price increase in value but if you keep mm-hmm. money in the mm-hmm. bank you put ten thousand in the bank in 10 years it's ten thousand in 10 years it's the same small small disgusting interest and we understand why because yeah. the bank Bank doesn't do business. Bank takes your money and and invests in real estate. Gets this ten percent. Then it has to give us pennies. Then have to pay all the expenses and make profit. Yeah, Banks yeah. are very lucrative yeah. business, very profitable. Plus a lot of expenses. So we eliminate them, and we are smart. We keep money directly in the real estate. Another thing. Mm-hmm. Bank keeps the money in commercial real estate, most of the money, because they're trying to, to squeeze more. Commercial real estate gives more, but much, much more risky. The yeah. safest investment is uh, um, residential real estate. We only invest in residential. Mm-hmm. So keeping money in the bank it's more risk for you than directly directly uh, in uh, through us through our company keep your money in the real estate plus when you put money yeah. in the bank it belongs to the bank not to you mm-hmm. when you super invest- lucrative very lucrative yeah, business they, they're, 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 they're investing you not, their, not their own money yeah but when you invest Investing through us it's you know don't give us money you through us by 
shares you direct the property own. yes it's like through nasdaq wow. you buy shares you don't give money to nasdaq and nasdaq uh, already your money invests no it's ju they are just a vehicle so we are just the vehicle you have shares in we just create companies for each apartment and you and you owe all shares in each company directly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it sounds like this i just want to make sure that we're on the same page and if we're not correct me please uh for example a house costs one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, for instance right and you decided to invest fifteen thousand dollars into this house therefore you own 10 percent of the house right and how do you actually own 10 percent of this house you own 10% of a company that owns 10% of this house. ABC company whenever this... owns this apartment on the 5th Avenue. Yeah. And you own 15% mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of the company. And the company has management. We are the management who does all yeah. the work, collects the money, takes a, a little fee, like all the management companies in the world, no more. Yeah. And the company has profit. You see the profit. You see the statement. Uh, thousand is rent. Hundred dollars is the expenses we, that goes to us because we manage everything. Nine hundred is the yeah. net profit, and you get fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So in this case scenario, I said that the house is one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and you invested fifteen grand. So therefore, you own ten percent of the house. Right. So let's say that this is the situation uh, and that exact house was being rented out for one thousand dollars. Right. Let's let's just give those numbers. So you own 10 percent of the house. Fifteen thousand dollars gets you 10 percent of the house. As this house increases in value, your 10 percent also increases. Right. So next month, next month, next year, it could be sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand. Now let's calculate about rent. So let's say, for instance, thousand dollars is the rent that we collect. 10% goes to you guys, $100. $900 is left as profit. Can, do you have a calculator by you that you could open up? Yes, yes. Possibly? I have, yes. Let's do 900 times 12 because there's 12 months out of the year. Mm -hmm. Right? What, you, what does that give us? 10.8 grand. 10.8 grand. And we divide that by the house value, right? $150,000. Seven point two percent. Seven point two percent ROI. So, what's ten ten thousand eight hundred divided by? I mean, what's ten percent of ten thousand eight hundred? It's one thousand eighty, right? So your fifteen thousand dollar investment will give you one thousand eighty dollars every single year, as long as the rent stays thousand. If the rent increases, you, the amount of money you make increases, and basically you make. 7.2% on the money invested. Did I get everything correctly or is there anything that yes, I'm Yes, you get out? correctly, but now we managed to give investors around 10%, not 7.2%, 10%. Uh -huh. And that's 10%. our goal to give investors around 10%. But 10 years from now, the rent will grow, grow to 2,000 uh, a month. Yeah. And you're going to start getting double, 14 in your case scenario, 14.4 on the money you invested. ROI is wow. the money only invested. In the bank, it doesn't grow. Yeah. Wow. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And where can people find this company? On the internet. What is it called? Nuki. <laughs> Nuki? Yes. N O O. Nuki Investments, everybody. Nuki. Nuki. And if anyone is interested for any. If anyone is interested for any reason, write me in in the in in the DMs or write Alex in the DMs. And if anyone for whatever reason is interested, but this is I just not, the topic. I was I'm not planning. I was not planning to. Talk about <laughs> I wasn't planning to talk about this either. Yeah, I, was, I thought we we're gonna talk about girls, about uh, something <laughs> that's on your mind. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me, you have <laughs> on your mind more, more. You think about more about girls or business at twenty? I was definitely ninety business. percent definitely was thinking business. about the girls at your age, ninety percent of the time. And you think ninety percent of girls the time? and cars? No, not cars. I was never <laughs> a fan of cars. 
but girls, yes. And yeah. you like nine to <laughs> business, right? Yeah, I mean, I I don't really have a problem with girls, so I think a lot of problems. They just kind of come either. to me. <laughs> I don't have problems either. <laughs> They kind of just, you know, come around. <laughs> I think we're on when you're on your own path. When you're on your own path and you're trying, and you know, you're, you're focused on one thing, they just kind of, they kind of, they kind of flow. <laughs> that that's kind of. I mean, I think we covered a lot of points today. I don't really have anything else yes, in my mind yes. that I want to ask Great. you. Very good conversation. Want, Let's yeah. continue next Tuesday. You're 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 enjoying. You're enjoying yes, the I'm conversations good. that we're having these lives. Then you will publish the book. I hope that the viewers are enjoying conversations it. with the with the father. What the, book? The name of the book. Me, you will sell million <laughs> copies and will make your conversations first. with the father. What are we going to make this book about? Whatever we talk about, it's going to be just a question, we... question and answer conversation. It's just, just. I think we. You think we could fit everything into a book? I don't think so. We talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, ten meetings like that. It's gonna it, be a, maybe. maybe it's gonna be a. It's gonna be bigger than Berkshire Hathaway in your reports. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we. Maybe we can make the title of the book like hundred questions to Alex or something mm -hmm. like that. To the father, and we choose. Choose like the. Yeah, choose the best on hundred. Choose but. Hundred questions for my father, written by Elon Yanovsky. Yes. Make it. You guys want to see that? Would you guys want to see that book? Write in the comments if you would. Send the money, right? If you would. Prepayment. <laughs> Send the money. Prepayment for the book. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it as dollars. valuable. You can make million dollars even before you publish the book. Yeah, prepay. Just sell this book, million people, and that's it. You, 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 one dollar each, and you make million. Hundred percent goes to you. Yeah, I actually did have a topic that I wanted to talk about. I had something that came up to my mind, right? Um, Yuri, Yuri is actually questions. Yuri is Yuri is giving me uh giving me some direction. Um, can U.S. residents invest into the real estate you are mentioning? I didn't even. This question kind of ran by me. I didn't even see. Can U.S. Uh, residents invest into this real estate, Nuki? It depends. You have to talk to our uh, lawyer and advisors. Just feel the, mm -hmm. just write it down in the that you want to talk to somebody, and we will see your situation. Okay, so yeah, just write me in the in the DMs or write Alex in the DMs. My, write my father. I I feel like it's it's mad weird when we're on live. I just call you Alex for some reason, but I just gotta get call used me, to calling you dad. Call me dad, <laughs> Papa. You call me Papa. Yeah, Papa. I always call you Papa, but you know it's a little. Call weird me on. Papa. I gotta get used. To, you have to. I gotta get used to. It's only our second week, man. Just have to be free, Elon. It's only our. You don't have. You don't yeah. care what people think. You just be yourself. Yeah, it's only my second week. I'm trying to get used to it, you know. <laughs> it's only our second week doing this, you know. A couple of weeks in, we're gonna be I mean, good to easier. go. For me, it's easier. I always call you Elon, so I still call you Elon. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, all these these questions came. Like I'm getting these questions from Yuri right now, but they were just flying by me when I was when I was reading the chat. Let's let's kind of. I mean, I guess let's ask them if we if you still have some time. Five more minutes, I have. Then I have a meeting. Up, five more minutes. Urgency, man is creating urgency. Um, boom, 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 boom. How to create a good team and trust them? How and what, what is leadership in your understanding? What? It, how do you create a good team and trust them? And then, what is leadership from your understanding? Leadership is having a vision first. Let's say you have a bunch of friends and in your mind, you come up with the vision. Some You see something, you imagine something and then you start telling them 
guys, let's go to the movie. You in in your mind, you saw you saw the movie that you want to see, and you start communicating your vision. Let's go to the movie, and you try to convince them to follow you. You're trying to you're trying that you're trying to to explain them what you have in your mind, so they start seeing that also. And and then go together because you cannot do anything in, by yourself in life. So you have a people. So you see something in your mind, then you communicate. That you you sell your vision. You you convince other people. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's leadership. If you can convince them and you get them excited to do what came up in your mind first. You want to build a business. Let's say, let's say Steve Jobs. He had something in his mind and he started to communicate and then people started following him. That's leadership. Leadership is two things. Most important two things. To see something, to have a desire of something and then to excite other people to go along with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why well, do more most people fail to build a profitable business because it's not easy and you don't have to you don't have to give up most people give up too early why we all walk because we, we didn't give up we start when we started to walk first we we uh, fell it takes it takes time i mean some people uh, uh, first couple of businesses is a uh, failure, maybe five first business. But you, if you don't quit, you continue, continue. One day you will learn and may, and build a big business. The most important is not to quit. It's not easy game. It, it doesn't work first time. Sometimes you're lucky. It's successful from the from the first try. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that it will be successful uh second time third time maybe even couple of first uh, attempts is successful but then you have couple of failures in a row doesn't mean anything you have to you have to continue mm -hmm. the, the 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 beauty of this of this game is that you can you can play this game you 20 years old you're gonna live yeah. until 120. So you can God play willing. this. You can play this. Um, God willing, yes. Uh, you can play this game for the next hundred years. You can become better and better every single day. Mm -hmm. One percent a day. You can become better one percent a day. Can you imagine compound interest becoming better? One percent every single day for the next hundred years. If you play basketball, the uh, the the negative of this uh, game is maximum twenty years you can play. That's it. By age yeah. 37, 38, you retire. Then you have to do something else. This game you can play. The older you become, the better you play. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting point, actually, because basketball you you become forty and your body doesn't perform as well as it used to. Uh, here really is honest. here is uh, every day. The older you become, you, you just more and more and more experience if you love the game and if you yeah. if you don't give up if you don't quit you will definitely six will be will realize your dreams how do you overcome discouragement because i mean that's that like how do you not give up because there's points in your life where like you really really want to give up right? well, if, like, you, if things you, are just going if, fully south if, if you can give up, yeah. give up. If you can give up, give up. Some people they just can't give up. They, if you can mm -hmm. give up, not everybody uh, will not give up. Most of the people will give up. That's good. Less competition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if if you're one of them, then it's good for somebody who will not give up. Mm -hmm. Can a girl, uh, can a girl uh, uh, be uh, successful in business? Okay, I will tell you this. Somebody else. I will tell you this about giving up. Yeah. It's all about love. If you if you choose the path of discipline, you will give up. 
because you don't have love. You need Viagra. Mm. It's not natural. Mm. You will give up. If you, if it's your love, then how can you give up love? True love. For mm. me, business mm -hmm. is such a true love. I cannot give up. Even if I'm not, mm -hmm. if I have failures, I wake up and it's, uh, I just, that's, I love to do. I'm not forcing myself. So this, this pivot, this pivots back into what we were talking about earlier. And we actually had a question that we missed earlier. I just didn't want to kind of restate it because we kind of moved on to different topics. But now, since we brought it up again, the question goes as follows. Discipline? Question mark. Is it maybe... Ooh, one second. Let me read it and formulate it and give it to you. Um, maybe can you create sh structure around what you desire to do? One might desire many things and a little flavor of discipline will allow that person to focus more. What do you say on that point? Next Tuesday, we will start with this question. Okay. All right. Can we ask, because this girl is asking, can a girl be successful in business? What can you say That's to her? That's going to be a second uh, question next Tuesday. I say yes. I think it's a yes. <laughs> I think it's a yes. Alex, I thank you so much for your time. I want to state one point real quick. For anyone watching on any channel, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram right now. If you actually want to come in here in, and, uh, and like speak to us live, not only just in the comment section, write your questions. But if you want to come in and speak to us live, we are choosing one person. All right. So in order for you to actually become that one person that we choose, you have to make sure that you're following the channel that you're watching this on. So whether it's a YouTube channel, my Instagram, Alex's Instagram, whatever channel you're watching this on, you have to follow that page and you have to write something in the comment section right now. Right now, you have to write something in the comment section. And shoot me and shoot a direct message to any channel that you're on right now. Let's give them two minutes to do this, and then we'll choose someone for next next week's uh, lesson. And he's gonna he or she is gonna hop on directly in this Zoom call with us and speak with us. Okay, give them two. Good minutes. idea. Very good idea. Let's give them. Let's give them two minutes. In the meantime, so, you know, we can play some music. And wait. So next. Oh, week can you can you take out can you take out the truth? Trombone for us next week. Yes. Play some uh, some trombone. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm playing every day. Getting better and better. Yeah. How is that going? But very good. That's one of your hobbies. Anything else you like to do? No, that's the only. Any hobby. other hobbies you have? That's the only hobby, probably. Yeah. Reading books is not a hobby. It's just I need it yeah. for work. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a work. It's a work. So the reason that I waited two minutes is because the live is a little bit behind. So I just right. want them to catch up. It would be cool if we had the trombone playing in the meantime. You know, tell them, you know? <laughs> just to entertain both of us. Next time. <laughs> I will. The next time we have the trombone. <laughs> yeah. So I All heard right, that let's you, wrap I it up in 30 that, seconds. that you're going to Italy and Spain next week, right? Yeah, I am. So we'll have it. But I wanted to keep it a secret. I wanted to keep it a secret because I would. I was going to make a poll on my stories and be like, guess uh, where I'm going next? I was going to put four things. But now anyone sorry, that uh, sorry, is watching sorry. this right now, sorry, sorry, sorry. they have the answer to that. <laughs> sorry. They have an answer. Secret. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the, the, the next, uh, next live will be from uh, Italy or Spain? Italy. Yeah, Italy or Spain. Either yeah. or. Italy or Spain. Italy or Spain. Okay, so we'll see where I love you. We'll see where I'm at. I love you too. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye.